Um, I'm gonna do this quick video I seen on YouTube. Something I wanted to look at real quick. It was very interesting what this man was saying in this video about these uh, invention that he made. So uh, this is the copyright disclaimer. I'm just reviewing the video. That's it. Um, the guy named is Woody Norris, hypersonic sound, and other inventions. He's on a TED Talk. says real quick this is very interesting you know if you think about what they can do the, you know the possibilities system in the front for mom and dad <laughs> and maybe there's a little DVD player in the back for the kids and the parents don't want to be bothered with that or their rap music or whatever so again this idea of being able to put sound anywhere you want to is really starting to catch on it also works for transmitting and communicating data it also works five times better underwater. Uh, we've got the military have just deployed some of these into Iraq where you can put fake troop movements a quarter of a mile away on a hillside. <laughs> or you can whisper in the ear of a supposed terrorist some biblical verse. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> and they have these infrared devices that can look at their countenance and see a fraction of a degree Kelvin in temperature shift from a hundred yards away when they play this thing. And so another way of hope, hopefully determining who's friendly and who isn't. Uh, we make a version of this which puts out 155 decibels. Pain is 120. <laughs> so it allows you to go nearly a mile away and communicate with people and there can be a public beach just off to the side and they don't even know it's turned on. We sell those to the military presently for about $70,000 and they're buying them as fast as we can make them. Uh, we put it on a turret with a camera so that when they shoot at you, you're over there and it's there. Uh, I have a bunch of other inventions. I invented a plasma antenna to shift gears. Uh, I looked up in the ceiling of my office one day. I was working on a ground penetrating radar project and my physicist CEO came in and said, we have a real problem. We're using very short wavelengths. We got a Problem with the antenna. Uh, I'm the happiest guy you're ever going to meet. <laughs> and my dad died before he realized anybody in the family would maybe hopefully make something out of themselves. You've been a great audience. I know I've jumped all over the place. I usually figure out what my talk is when I get up in front of a group. I'm going to give you in the last minute. One more quick demo of this guy, for those of you that haven't heard it. Never tell if it's on. So he just put it to the cell and he said he couldn't tell if it, it was on. So it must work in distance. Because why, why wouldn't he be able to hear it if it's... I don't understand that, but anyway. If you haven't heard it, raise your hand. Getting it? Get the cameraman. Yeah, there you go. I've got a Coke can opening that's right in your head that's really cool. Thank you once again. So now, the only reason why I made this video, or I'm talking about the video, is because of the part where he says that they can project sound um, 
from the distance to anywhere they want to, you know, project it to. Now, earlier in the video, it talks about the uses they would do, um, the, how they would use this technology, like in ATMs and um, different businesses and stuff, and if you didn't want to, you know, want people hearing what you were doing on the ATM or whatever, you know, for, for um, privacy or whatever. But now this, if it was to be, you know, if this, this was to be perverted in some kind of way, then, you know, I don't think that would be a good thing, but it would be very interesting, the fact that they could do this, you know. But just then, at the end of the video, he said that he couldn't tell if it was on or whatever, but I guess it works at a distance or whatever. So, um, that's all I wanted to say really about this video. You can check it out. It's on YouTube. But um, it's very interesting what he just said.